the year 1994. Yeah, that was quite a year. <laughs> the way the game the starts, game it's... Hurt, hurt him. The way the game starts, you just see, like... It, it, gives, it gives you that Aliens feel. Because it totally wasn't influenced by Aliens, right? <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, no, this game in is just space. known for pure atmosphere. So, yeah, this is Super Metroid, the third entry in the Metroid, um, the the main series. I say main series because there's also the Prime series and there's, like, other installments. But um, despite, you know, my struggles of the first two Metroid games, I was looking forward to playing Super Metroid for a very long time. Easily, like, it's not just my, like, favorite SNES game. It's probably my favorite game, period. So I've been really excited to play through this game. Um, it's been known for a lot of things, one of which being, uh, you know, going through some speed runs, another of which just pure exploration and how rewarding it is. And just the way the stage or the entire world is set up, it's, I, I think it's brilliant. I, I could go on all day about it. Oh, look at that, bomb jumping, which is something that hints the player on, uh, you know, that's, that's one of the cool little maneuvers there. Yeah, um... So I've been thinking about giving. I, I've been thinking about giving two. Did I just hear a cold one crack over there? That was me. We need to make one for Jesse now. Well, we need to make one for Jesse and what for? About that a and for Ellie, for Ginger Ellie. Ellie. <laughs> Ginger Ellie. <laughs> so yeah, one will be Lucky Stars or something. Lucky. Dragon fruit. Lucky like, dra you know what? Yeah, that oh, works. Okay. Lucky dragon fruit. That's a catchy one. Um, so yeah, oh, I've been thinking that. about one of two like I've been thinking maybe two forms of playing this game. Either a casual like obviously I'm gonna do this casually, but I've also been thinking about doing like a second playthrough where I do uh, a speed playthrough to try to beat the game <clears throat> under three hours. This is one that I'm able to handle because I know this game a lot compared to the other ones. But until then, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, mm -hmm. let's um, I'm good. Yeah, let's go ahead and clear it. Uh... I don't know if you've noticed, but Discord is glitching on you again. Yeah, I've noticed. <clears throat> A little bit. It like okay, I've noticed that It'll sometimes. Wear off. Yeah, like it sometimes yeah. wears off. Yeah, that's the shoot, jump, dash. Yeah. They will pick up over <laughs> time. That's how these things usually go. Yeah. So. Very true. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. <gasps> I've <clears throat> got the control set up. No one shall be seated while Golden does his key binding. <laughs> Except most of us, I'm sure, are sitting. If you're going on a mission and space, you need to make sure that everything in it is in pristine working condition. <clears throat> make sure to bring plenty of water because there's no space. I almost said there's no space of water. God damn it. In space, in space nobody can water. <laughs> Anyways, um, take what Magical I'm Star says, that we learn to ignore Discord's bitchiness. <clears throat> yeah. Alright, let's get this shit mo uh, let's get this shit rolling. Let's get this shit on the road! The last Metroid is in captivity. The galaxy is at peace. You don't hear voices in an old video game that often. <clears throat> so I think yeah. it's always a treat. Yay, well, recap time! So we can hear yeah. I first battled the Metroids on planet Zebs. It was there that I followed the plans of the space pirate leader Mother Brain to use the creatures to attack galactic civilization. Oh yes, everybody remember Tal taking on the Mother Brain while I had to deal with those fucking energy Cheerios. <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> what? Yeah, yeah, no, they're literally like glowing the rings that float windows. around. <clears throat> Oh yeah, you're I right. Those are energy Cheerios. Yep. I next fought them. Sound really. I next fought. Gonna make me sound really. Okay, sorry. I next fought the Metroids on their home world, SR388. I completely eradicated them except for a larva, which, after hatching, followed me like a lost child. Japan, can you please work on the English grammar right there? Put a comma there, so that way you know it's not a syntax error. No offense. <laughs> Honestly, yeah, it's an old pixel game, and I don't think they were bothered. Yeah. 
Let's see, I personally delivered I it to I, was... I personally delivered it to the Galactic Research Station at Ceres so scientists could study its energy producing qualities. I do have to question why she didn't just like immediately yeet the Metroid out of existence because doesn't she know how dangerous those things are? Okay, there was a theory behind that. Um, the reason why she did not kill the young child, the young baby larva of the Metroid, is because it reminded her of herself. Because that's how she died. But, like, that's what happened to her family. Like all, of her, she was the only one that survived after an attack from. The Metroids themselves, so she ended up becoming kind of sympathetic towards the baby Metroid. Hmm. Yeah. That's like mm -hmm. the theory that somebody pointed out long ago, and I was like, you know, that does make a lot of sense with Metroid. Why this became a thing? <laughs> yeah, there's a whole backs. Uh, there's a whole history with uh, how um, Samus was raised. In the meantime, the scientists' findings yeah. were astounding. They discovered that the powers of the Metroid might be harnessed for the good of civilization. Yes, hey, the good uh, of civilization. Quick, we've got season. We've got season with something in the chat here. Um, I hope you're right. Let's see, so I got back from a call uh, to work with a coworker for his closing shift, and I had one of the customers in his mid to late forties wait in the parking lot in his car for me to leave my shift and call me as. Wait, what? What? Uh. Stranger danger. Uh, Stranger danger. Stranger danger! Stranger danger! <laughs> yeah, season I advise a very well placed 180 degree nope on that one. Yeah. Like nope, the fast. Nope, 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 and a hell no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh right. my fucking god. Satisfied that all was well, I left the station to seek a new bounty to hunt. But I had a heart but I had hardly begun the asteroid build when I picked up a distress signal. Ser station was under attack. Uh -oh. Yep. And that's how the game begins. Yep. <clears throat> I love how cinematic yeah. this game presents itself. Yeah. Yeah. It's really fitting. Mm-hmm. Wee flippity flippity. <clears throat> D Butch, what do you mean stranger did well, uh Stranger was waiting for her and tried calling her and tried luring her into his car. So uh immediate red stranger flag. danger. Yeah. Doesn't get any more descriptive than that, I'll tell you. Yeah, it, it's pretty open and shut. Right, that's a good question. Why does the station look like a landmine? <laughs> like, like a literal landmine, like ready to blow up. Oh, Ellie's in the call in the in the stream. Oh, Let's hey Ellie, that. how you doing? How's your honeymoon? Ellie, hope you're doing hope good. Hope having fun, Ellie. You know, it's funny. Ellie joins the joins the stream as soon as Ridley shows up. I think the stream or the game is trying to tell me something here. Oh no. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> and now, really, I don't how be an dare expert. you try to kidnap a baby? <laughs> how dare you try to kidnap a baby? <laughs> you shame to yourself! Can we get a hashtag happily married in the chat for Eliora, please? Self-destruct sequence activated. Ev uh, v <laughs> evacuate the colony me immediately. Eh! I can't fucking read for shit. Are you having a hard time talking right now, Golden? Why do they look so gross in this game? Ew. What looks gross in the game? You got one minute to get the fuck out of it. I know, it's crazy. Run! That's literally how the game begins. You you inspect a fucking colony, and then you get attacked, and then the place is about to blow up. It's like, good lord, this game doesn't fuck around. Yeah. Mm. Ow. Do, do, and if do. anybody gets... Ow. That no! From you have... Because everybody knows where I got that from wrong. There we go. Whoa. The tilting is so freaking crazy. 
This oh, is God. really disturbing. Yeah. I, think. I, yeah. I agree. It's messing with my head. Dude, the cameraman is on vodka. I don't know what the hell's going on <laughs> here, dude. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're the cameraman. I want to know what the freaking spaceship was on. <laughs> you know, like leaning to the left, he's like, I got the shot. I'm like, you didn't get the shot. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> well, does it sound right there? Ugh. It's a freaking landmark. <laughs> freaking Derek the Brody. Oh shit, here we go again. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, with that meme back in the last highlight reel. Oh, come over the. God dang it! In, in his editing software, editing this, and he's just gonna be like, "God damn, it, I gotta put." Oh damn! Media desk, god damn it! <laughs> and it looks go. like uh, my browser is kind of uh, screwing around because now I can't see the chat. Oh wait, wait, wait! Uh, the chat box. There we go. Okay. All right. So I'm here I am. glad that you had a great time at the wedding, Ellie. So, as you can, like, as you see that I'm entering the planet, everything looks all dark and spooky. I love the ambient sound that it has when you play the game. Like, I, I'm just, like, mm. personally gushing on how much I love the presentation of this game. It's part of why I love it so much. It's just, it's you very emotionally driven on top of just having, like, a fun uh, platformer that you just explore around in. You know what, today is just fan-fucking-tastic. I'm loving it today. <laughs> right? That's a mood. <laughs> <laughs> no drama, Whoa. no bullshit, just a really nice honeymoon and a really nice live stream. Everybody's really happy. It's great. I gotta be all the fucking go. time. And also Hashtag. tomorrow is gonna be a fun day with my daughter because we're gonna go to the zoo. Oh. Purify the yep. souls of those at the zoo. <laughs> We're gonna. They have like some displays of of light sized dinosaurs at this particular zoo I'm going to. So I'm like, oh, I know who wants to go see some dinosaurs too. Mm. <laughs> That's my just little girl. Sure, is like, just make sure she's oh, not. Oh, high surveillance camera. Fuck you. <laughs> Don't worry, logic. Desert Samurai, I can't see space. So it's fine. The I mean, I gotta say, typically, the Samus games typically take place on a planet, you know, a big fucking rock. Then you're gonna hate the uh, Metric Fusion because that one's actually in a space colony. Oh God. Oh, God. Also, <laughs> there is something that is after you, so <laughs> like it even scares yeah! the shit out of me. I don't like doing that. <laughs> Derek the Brony, yes, I know how to wall jump. In fact, well, let me get out of this congested area. Congested Boom. area. My name is Golden, and I know how to wall jump. And then he tries to wall jump, and he ends up like falling down on his Jeez, head. Through the He's like, wait, wait, wait! I can do this! I can do this! <laughs> no, you cannot. <laughs> like, no, no, no! I can do it! I can do it! I can do it, man! I promise, man! Just hold on, hold on a second. <laughs> I got this, just hold on. You, fuck <laughs> off. I don't need your goddamn searchlight. These goddamn surveillance cameras. I got you. Try hey guys. I don't got this. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, weird idea. But which pony OC do you think would look best in a ponified. Uh, what is the suit called? The Varia suit or something? Oh, um, the Zeros. If if you're thinking what Samus is currently wearing, um, the Bounty Hunter suit. Called the power. Yeah. Just the power suit in general, whichever. They all look the same. Yeah. Which pony do you think would look the best in that? She, that one would probably be more like um, a, a cybernetic earth pony. Because I always pictured uh, Samus more like an earth pony. Yeah, but why does it have to be a cyber earth pony? Isn't it just uh, a suit? Like the yeah, don't fucking suit? touch me. Well, how, <laughs> okay, how do you explain when it curls up in a ball? Well, well, Pinky curls up into a ball. What's that make her? Huh? Yeah. Plus, what? Samus. Plus oh God! You're now giving me the mental image of Pinkie Pie as uh, the freaking Samus suit. 
Hell, Hell yeah, <laughs> brother! That would actually, that's of oddly fitting. It's that. oddly fitting because, holy shit. <laughs> Imagine, like, her just giving, like, happiness to others. Because there's also a comic where she encounters Slenderman, I think. Um, oh, God. Slenderman, sorry. Um, and she no, hands him, oh, like, a slice of cake. Okay. We called it. Oh, that's no, actually, actually the, uh... You actually called it Slenderman. No, because that, that's what it's actually well, also known as in like a pony rendition of it. It's called yeah. Slendermane. Also, I wasn't talking about canon ponies. I meant like which pony I see of all of us and all the people we know would look best in a ponified Samus power armor. Well, so, um, oh! everybody wants to be um, in the suit, so that's going to be a bit of a tough contest, our logic. Honestly, <laughs> okay. If I had a picture, who would fit that suit the best? And be able to put it to very effective use. Hmm. Honestly, I see thinking. Eliora wearing it. You think so? Yeah. It complements the suit because the suit is at a bright color and her OC is like a dark brown with purple mane. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, okay, yeah. 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 Just uh, one more uniform to torment Golden with. <laughs> <laughs> It's a particularly large shit eating grin. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's like family size. <laughs> Good God. This shit stretches out beyond the walls of my fucking house. <laughs>